okay, we're live. Okay, we're live all over the place. <laughs> so here we are, we're back. It's the, the winter spring semester at Bristol Community College. So we've started our uh, weekly meditation live on Zoom and also live on Instagram. So this is uh, for everyone. And thank you, Diane, of the fitness program for, for putting all this together. You've just been so amazing during these times. Um, all right, let's get in it. So today, what I would love to talk about is, um, so, so growing up, when I was, um, when I was in high school-ish, and I, I, I always had this sense of that if we didn't, if I didn't watch the news, and I wasn't totally up to date on the news, um, that I was being irresponsible or disconnected from the world somehow. Um, and it was really important to, to be, to, to watch the news and kind of have it in the background all the time um, as part of an everyday life. And while I still, I still feel like, yes, it's, it's important to have a sense of what's going on um, in the world and to be compassionate and um, care about uh, all beings everywhere and to be, be, be updated about what's going on, especially with what's happening with the, the planet. Um, but to have the news playing in the background all the time and, and to feel like we're not being responsible if that's not happening, that's not true. <laughs> And if anything, taking a break from all that and doing something like walking in nature, I, I'm gonna say that might be the most important thing you can do um, for these purposes. Nature doesn't have an agenda. Nature is, is so in the moment. All the birds and like squirrels, um, the trees, the, if you, they're out walking and there's a, there's a stream, one of the paths that I walk on a lot, um, there, there are streams. That is all, no agenda, just alive in the present moment, and that's what's real. So we literally need these reminders. We, we need as natural beings to, that's where we need to be connected. That needs to be our home base, that needs to be our foundation and then when we do something like watch the news or hear about like human events we're observing it rather than thinking that that's what's real so it's actually more responsible to take some time out and be in nature nature is the most obvious thing here no agenda. Nature has no agenda. You're not watching nature and nature is not trying to make you think something different or anything like that. Nature just is, is being and that's our true natural state is to be alive and grateful and radiant in the present moment. So that's why it, oh, it's so important. Take a break. Take a break from the news. Take a break from social media and get connected get really connected. I realize we're on social media now, so it's kind of ironic that <laughs> I'm saying, take a break. <laughs> but really, especially the news. You're not any more responsible if you have the news going on in the background of your life all the time, right? So we can turn off the TV, turn off, turn off the phones, and go get really connected in what's real. Again, nature has no agenda. Nature has no agenda. Nature is, and, and you are nature. We all are nature. So can we start to see, we starting to get this glimmer of how so much of the news, so much of what we're seeing on, on social media isn't actually real. Does that make sense? Is that resonating? I hope so. When we walk out in nature, when we're connected with nature, when we remember our true selves, when we feel our true selves in a sunset or a sunrise, or walking by the ocean, or standing on oh, the edge of the Grand Canyon, that's what's real. No 
agenda. No agenda. Doesn't that feel nice? To know that you can be supported in high vibration. Supported by vibrant life force energy. By other living beings with no agenda. <laughs> but here we are. What we're doing here, connecting with the slow, steady heartbeat of Mother Earth. Right, connecting with the beat of the drum. We're connecting with all of our ancestors that have played drums rhythmically with the heartbeat of the earth. We're connecting with our true selves. All of us, all of us, every one of us, our true nature, I know, right? Our true nature is unconditional love and peace beyond understanding. All that other stuff, agenda, emotions swirling around, external influences, it's all not real. And there are some human beings on this planet that have kind of lost their way. So again, one of the best things that we can do is remember our true nature and get connected and just like when we see a sunset or a sunrise and we remember we feel it that feeling that you might get oh my gosh i, I hope everybody gets this feeling I'm, I'm assuming everyone gosh i hope so gets this feeling when they see a beautiful sunset or sunrise just this like whoa <laughs> ah like there i am <laughs> That's true. Hmm. So when we remember our own true nature and connect with the rhythms of the earth, and then we walk rhythmically on this planet that way, we are helping others remember their own true nature. So it's actually more responsible to take a little break and turn off the news Go get connected in nature. Remember your true essence and then radiate that out to the planet. And you could even listen to some really, some uh, connected music. So I, I, I my go-to is, is mantra or drum, uh, just recorded drum beats, really, whew, really uh, connected drum beats, rhythmic drum beats. So something like this, or a lot of times um, we've recorded nature so that we can listen to it at times when we're not in it. <laughs> right, you can go right on um, anything, Spotify, okay, connect with social media a little bit there. <laughs> Something like Spotify and find recorded nature right at your fingertips. And take a listen for a few moments. Um, if getting outside for some reason, for whatever reason, isn't an option for you. <sighs> Connecting back with our children, our family, in a, a lighthearted, heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul kind of way, in a non-agenda kind of way, in a we-are-just-here-alive-together kind of way. responsible. How 
I realized that it's actually more responsible to take a break, turn that off, and, and to know that yes, it's certainly, know what's going on, have an awareness of what's going on in the world with compassion and consideration for all beings. But to turn the TV off, turn the news off, and go get connected with what's real, and this is nature. Remember, nature has no agenda. Nature is alive and vibrant in the present moment. And this is where life is happening in the present moment. So when we connect with our true nature, we help remind others of their true nature and raise their vibration just as we've raised our own. So do you see how this is actually just as responsible, if not more, if not more? Nature has no agenda. <laughs> that offering that nature gives to, to connect us. Mm, sunset, sunrise, standing by the ocean. That is freely giving, freely giving, with no, no wanting or expecting something back. That is just free, open, spacious. And we receive and connect. And our giving back is simply the, oh, the falling to the spaciousness of gratitude. That's how we give back. Nature has no agenda. That sunset has no agenda. So do we see how important it is to connect with that and be in the presence and remember no agenda. That's what's real. Unreal to real. Lead us from unreal to real. from the news, anything you might be researching, anything that has an agenda, and step outside and connect with the rhythms of nature. Sunrise has no agenda. with your pranic two beam of light energy that pulses up and down through your body spiraling around your spinal column shining all the way down to the center of the earth connecting with mother earth's crystalline magnetic center feel it see it feel and see this energy pulse back up through your body through your pranic tube shining up the crown of your head up into the cosmos, connecting you with the central sun, the energy of source, the energy of creation, the sun behind the sun. You feel this pulse down to Mother Earth, up to Father Sky. your breath expansive, breathing out to the stars, and then exhale, fall into spaciousness.
to gently open. Thank you so much. Thank you. Get out in nature. No agenda. Nature has no agenda. Isn't that <sighs> a relief? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bristol Community College. <laughs>